everyone. Welcome to the garden. Okay, so I have missed the ideal time to harvest the cherries. It was a difficult year, 2020, isn't it? Everyone is nervous, different, quarantined. It gets to you and you take a break in the mountains and the pine beetle situation over there is bad. And you come back and it's devastated as the forest is. It's difficult, but not impossible to face the work ahead when you're feeling. It is because we love that we care about people in the forest and they need our attention. And that love will motivate us. But first, we need to take care of ourselves. Skip that beat, breathe in, and then roll up the sleeves, go get the gear, warm up, and face Cherizilla here, because she won't wait. I am Sandra Lange, and if you like easy, pleasing gardening and sensational walks in nature, I will take you to an enchanted place that I love called Jasper in the next video. So subscribe to get everything I bring to you from my life long as a gardener, designer, my love and respect for nature. It's that time of the year again. Here we go. We're gonna be harvesting all oh, this cherry today. <laughs> There's some already going to the bird feeders. Nothing goes to waste because I now live in the tree and then what the birds don't eat directly and there is too much. Then I separate and I put into the bird feeders and the magpies will take them or they disappear, they get taken. Oh, no worries. But I will start with the low hanging fruit, of course. And then I will work myself and warm up and then get the leather and take all that is good. It's a good thing this year we can give our friends a um, bowl with cherries because we can't really hug them or anything. So that's a, a nice, you know gesture we get creative how we can be close to our friends by phone by giving them some fruits from the garden so yeah i'm gonna put this into the tripod and get started okay <laughs> this is the first time i use this long um wire and there is this thing and it goes after me I thought it was a cobra I don't know maybe I shouldn't say that I thought it was an insect <laughs> and, ooh, <laughs> really, that was a scam okay so let's get started so I cut with the stem like that it's better to freeze they last longer if you do that they use the scissors and, and just cut away and it goes pretty fast and I did a good warm-up before coming here and doing this squat the higher up the more the birds get that also will make it go faster but we don't mind because we don't have lots of birds here so I do everything I can to attract birds and keep them and this year I was really rewarded with the first nest robins and and then chickadees coming also nesting again they were all around this cherry tree there is a good time to do this at this hour it's not in the sun and also the cars earlier on were so many noisy cars around lawnmowers everything you want to be able to enjoy a little quiet it's nice to, to hear the children laughing and people noise people talking enjoying or even animals like cats dog it's much more pleasurable to listen to a dog barking than the noisy cars i hope this is a phase that will go away these noisy cars and people will find something truly nice and fulfilling to have fun with this is such a nice activity and the temperature is so nice about 22 degrees celsius perfect i like when you pick one like this and 
just to oh the whole branch at once i'm here in the ducks don't tell me the ducks are already leaving town let's see if i can see them go oh firefly i love them big one beautiful last year i kind of did my last gardening video at around this time because i suddenly was very requested to play bass <laughs> so i i was playing bass all the time you can scroll down and see the playlist i was sharing the bass lines and then playing in church and I started playing with a group when all this thing happened I was starting playing with such a nice group I was so happy about it leave in the comments if you like more videos of bees otherwise it's fun to show the aspects of winter and nature here that I didn't get to do last year I think I play more music in the winter time because when the weather is good I just want to be outside oh we're getting some help which is good it's always nice when you do this with your family friends and with you guys it's good to do chatting a little bee sorry to upset you I'll add to her get used to the idea i'm taking the cherries away sorry i hope this is, this is not a bumblebee i have a chart with all the bees this is not a bumblebee but it's not a fence it is just another type of bee only the good ones fall to the ground right? like a, one that's going to the bird feeders doesn't fall Murphy's Law. If this kind of activities get you in a very nice state of dreamlike almost, so that same state of mind of just doing a simple activity slowly, it's soothing, very soothing. And you can think about other things, making plans and coping with some situation, family or whatever, or your gigs that you're doing. You are doing something like that, you can cope, it's nice. So it's a squat. <laughs> it's a squat a little bit for variety and because there are some good ones over there. So I'm here with my low bench and squatting and avoid going to my knees by all means since i got hurt and then did physiotherapy understood that the house not really not good for you to be on your knees for a long time and gardening we forget about time yeah kita is meowing then i'm speaking english and then you were speaking Portuguese. Uh -huh. It's not that yeah. that's really difficult to follow. <laughs> it's interesting how cats they have different languages. Ours have this kind of lament. When I'm playing, she goes ah! <laughs> when friends are here, we have to say she's happy. That's the way yeah, she, she talks. Does it when she eats. She does it all the like this is her communication. And we a friend of ours has a cat that that talks like this. Yeah, she doesn't he doesn't meow, just, just clicks, he clicks. And now it cries, you know, but it, it's she's fine. She's like that. And she has a, a voice that's just powerful voice. Very powerful. And it's like, ah! <laughs> I look. <laughs> so, but we promise that she's okay. <laughs> she's okay. <laughs> she's fine. She's like, this is her nature. Almost time for the weather. Yeah. Those I cannot reach by a chair. Okay, so this is pretty much the last ones I'm taking from the outside in the tree branches. The rest will stay, especially in the middle of the tree over there. I can't reach with, I cannot reach those. And I will leave it to the birds 
it's really difficult to reach so that's why i'm going to prune some of these and thin out these inside the branches to make it easier to harvest okay so this is the end result we still have some cherry in the inner branches and that's calling for uh, a pruning next spring because it's too tight over there to get those inner branches and so we're gonna leave it for the birds <laughs> they are going to fall off and become mulch that's gonna be all right if you have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and also give me a little smile in the comment section <laughs> i hope you can apply some of these ideas and techniques in your own garden Subscribe for more videos in the garden in the awesome nature. Coming in, Jasper, oh dear, and Moose, and Chipmunk. Oh, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!